In the vast and vibrant universe of Dragon Ball, fusion is one of the most exciting techniques that allows characters to combine their strengths into a single, more powerful enemy. However, the methods of fusion the Patara earrings and the fusion dance are fraught with inconsistencies and retcons that leave fans puzzled. Let's explore these issues across Dragon Ball Z, Super, and the new series, Dragon Ball Dama. Starting with the fusion dance, this technique requires the individuals to perform a precise series of movements and poses in perfect harmony. The result is a fusion that typically lasts for 30 minutes unless the characters possess exceptional power. The limitation of size matching is also a notable flaw. If the participants are of different sizes, the fusion may be unstable or fail entirely. In Dragon Ball Z, this limitation adds a comedic element, especially in scenes where characters like Goku and Vegeta must find ways to synchronize perfectly. Yet, when Goku fuses with characters like Piccolo or Trunks, the process seems to work without issues, raising questions about consistency. Now, Patara Fusion, introduced by the Supreme Kai, originally appeared to be a much more potent method. When to beans were the Patara earrings, they fuse into a single, stronger entity, and this fusion was initially believed to be permanent. However, in Dragon Ball Super, this rule is bent. When Goku and Vegeta use the earrings to become Vegito, it's revealed that, for mortals, the fusion only lasts an hour. This retcon not only contradicts earlier claims, but also diminishes the potency of what was once seen as a godlike technique. Fans are left to wonder why such a significant change was necessary. The differences in power dynamics between the two fusion methods also create confusion. For example, when Gogeta, the result of the fusion dance, battles foes, he displays incredible strategic prowess and control, often overpowering opponents with ease. Meanwhile, Vegito, despite being a product of the more powerful Patara fusion, sometimes feels more reckless and cocky. This contrast raises questions. Why is there such a disparity in their abilities? Are we to believe that the technique itself influences the resulting personality and fighting style? In Dragon Ball Dama, the introduction of new characters and concepts complicates these established fusion rules even further. As the series progresses, we witness new fusions and transformations that challenge the previous power scale. If characters can achieve unprecedented heights through these new methods, what happens to the original fusions? Do they become irrelevant? This notion threatens the established lore, and fans are left wondering how the narrative will reconcile these advancements. Moreover, the emotional implications of fusion are often glossed over. Characters struggle with identity issues when fused, but the series rarely delves deeply into these themes. For example, Goku and Vegeta's internal conflicts are often sidelined in favor of flashy battles. The series could benefit from exploring the psychological impacts of fusion on characters who must reconcile their personalities, yet this potential remains largely untapped. Retcons are a recurring theme in Dragon Ball, and the fusion techniques are no exception. The original lore surrounding Patara and fusion dance has been altered multiple times, leading to confusion among fans. The most glaring example is the shift from Patara fusion being permanent to time limited, which not only undermines the technique's perceived strength, but also raises questions about the rationale behind such a significant change. Why would the creators choose to limit a fusion method that was initially portrayed as overwhelmingly powerful? It feels like a decision made for plot convenience rather than consistency. In addition, we see a lack of coherence in how characters access and use these fusion techniques. In Dragon Ball Super, we witness characters like Goku and Vegeta continually evolving their abilities, yet they sometimes forget or struggle with the fundamentals of the fusion dance despite having successfully used it in the past. This inconsistency suggests that the narrative prioritizes spectacle over coherent character development, which can frustrate longtime fans. As we look to the future with Dragon Ball Dama, the potential for new fusions and transformations offers exciting possibilities, but it also raises concerns about further retcons and inconsistencies. Will new fusion methods render existing techniques obsolete? How will the power dynamics play out? These questions linger as the series evolves, leaving fans to speculate about the direction of their beloved characters. In conclusion, the inconsistencies surrounding Patara and the fusion dance across Dragon Ball Z, Super, and Dama showcase not just narrative challenges, but also the difficulty of maintaining continuity in a franchise that continues to expand. While the fusion mechanics provide thrilling battles and dramatic moments, the frequent retcons and inconsistencies leave a sense of dissonance. As the series moves forward, 
Fans can only hope for clearer rules and deeper explorations of the implications of fusion, both in power and identity. Who's your kind of machine?